watching. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and pause that. I ain't gonna waste no time on it right now. All right, so Exo Primal is a new game coming out from Capcom. Um, I watched when, when when Capcom had their like little uh, showcase a couple weeks back. Um, I watched it and it gave me Anthem vibes, like from E3. So um, it got me interested because Anthem to me at first was good. I just feel like it, you know, obviously for you know, I guess technical reasons, it could have been better, and. You know, unfortunately, they had to shut that whole thing down, like servers and everything. So we're going to see how this plays from Capcom. And I just saw that it reduced <laughs> the freaking resolution. Hold on. I got this. I'll configure everything. Okay, so you can use a controller or a mouse. You can change voice to English or Japanese. To save confusion, we'll we'll just keep it English for now. Display area is fine. Maximum brightness is fine. Oh, so you gotta hold it the whole time. Okay. It's faintly visible. All right. Let's go HDR. We don't have that right now. Yeah. Subtitles. We'll just keep it on. I wish they gave me options to change everything else. Hold on. Um, people, technology under threat from dinosaurs <laughs> defending the peace. IBS World News. These stock images, bro. Hello, viewers. I am Ivy the Android, and here is the latest news. This is footage of last week's major dinosaur outbreak. Oh my god. As you can see, an exo fighter unit was on the scene to stop the raptor swarms. Ibius's superior dinosaur forecasting and cutting edge exosuit technology were able to keep human casualties to zero. Exosuit development is proceeding under the guidance of the next gen AI, Leviathan. Meanwhile, IBS continues to recruit candidates to become new exo fighters. I do like these exosuits. Here are the latest images of recently developed exosuits. Ooh, that one on the far left. Dead eye, okay. Zephyr, okay. Barrage. Vigilance. Roadblock. Okay. Krieger. Hello. Muasame. Witch Doctor. Skywave. Nimbus. Okay, so so far I'm liking three of these. So far I'm liking three of these. Hi, Zol. IBS's advancements make our world a better place. And we owe it all to Hi, Zol. Technology for the future. Technology for you. Another Exofighter recruit, right? Welcome to Ibius. We'll begin by registering your data. 
It didn't give me the options to like change the graphic settings or anything. Um. Oh, okay. I was to say, uh, what's going on? So, okay, I get to create my character. Come on now. Why do you look like Mike Epps? Low key look like Mike Epps, bro. Just tell me I'm wrong. Oh, that's fire. Okay. You definitely gotta change that hair, bruh. Wait, what happened to the face? Hold on. Keep that. Oh, okay. This is all the hairstyles I got? Okay. I like the texture on these, especially, especially for the ethnic ones. But you know, we got we got obviously we got obviously gotta keep this one. Hold on, let me just look at the others real quick. Yeah, they, they ain't got any others. Alright. So we're definitely keeping this one. Uh, keep it black for now. Facial hair. Damn, you can see a significant difference in some of these. Yeah, just gonna keep everything black from now on. Makeup. But why? I just realized the fucking hair didn't stick because I didn't set it. Facial hair. No makeup. Scars. Uh, we don't... Jesus. Well, we are facing dinosaurs, so... Paint. Ooh. They got anything tribal? That's as tribal as you're gonna get. The customization isn't bad. Um, I feel like they'll add more once the game like officially releases. That's my guess. But so far, I like what I see. Like as like for default options, I like what I see. Oh wait, hold on. I didn't want that one. There we go. There we go. Pilot suit color. Red, purple, blue, crimson, orange, white. That's fire. Black and red, a pink and blue, light blue, dark green, green and white, navy and gray, yellow and violet. No, nah, son, that black and red is kind of cold. That black and red is kind of cold, though. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm just kind of sorry they didn't give me the option to like change the graphic settings and once i get to that complete. point then you know i'll Please proceed to the firing i'll range. change it you will now take an exo fighter aptitude test leviathan will provide instructions for operating exosuits do not deviate from leviathan's guidance you can definitely tell this is re engine You could look at this and think it's Monster Hunter, but it's not. Hello, I am Leviathan, your IBS supervisor. Oh Watch your drones ensure your safety by monitoring your performance. We want to know how you are doing. 
Oh, Welcome good settings. To the Exo Fighter Aptitude Exam. Listen closely as uh, we review the operation of I'll listen to him. version 932, Deadeye. First, direct your attention to the watcher and don't forget to smile. Now, move to the specified location. Oh, well. Display. No, no, not display. Um, video. There we go. Yeah, let's change this back to. Can we can we do borderless? Oh, thank God, borderless window. Hey, Mikey and Ginger. Uh, Ginger's not here. She's still at work. But what's up, Kyle? I didn't see her comment uh, earlier because OBS was like way off screen, and I couldn't bring my mouse to the other monitor because the game was in full screen. So I just had to wait until everything I, I'm able to change this shit. But thank you. You have a good one as well. I appreciate you stopping by. Okay. And honestly, this is this is all I need. As long as I'm able to do that, yeah, yeah, we're good. Oh, I wonder though. Ooh, it's kind of a bit of a delay. Obviously, the lower the resolution. You know, the, the the smoother the the camera is, but I want my I want it to be clear, so I'll keep it at 1920, 1080, and that'll be enough. And yep. All right. A is to jump. Over and around environmental obstacles. Fire at the target. Fire at the targets. Like the man said, the sensitivity. I'll change that later. Move into the right hand lanes. Focus fire on the distant targets. Try sprinting to move more quickly as you head to the next area. Oh, hold on. Okay, I like that way. I like how the waypoint is. You will now participate in a live fire exercise. Already? All right, bet. Dead eye model. Targets will be provided to improve your skills. Hope you like dinosaurs. I like better, I like good sensitivity when shooting at dinosaurs. You can't short you can't short hop. Hmm. Every IBS exosuit features unique abilities. The Deadeye model features a ranged explosive called the Rifle Grenade. Providing new targets. Activate Rifle Grenade to eliminate the Raptors. Oh wow! Craft chips may appear throughout the mission. That's our way of saying thanks. Return Fire in the, the hole! Go on. Craft chips allow you to place craftable assets at your discretion. Walls stop the enemy attacks. Oh, wow. Allowing allied attacks to pass on their very lethal way. Providing new targets. Every exosuit has a powerful overdrive ability. Let's give it a try. Fire death and foster salvo through the wall. And the monster salvo. That's fire. Get up training complete. Swap exosuit. What? Time via the suit change option. Now, swap to the roadblock model. I like this. I swap to the roadblock. What do I, what do, I do now? Oh. Disengaging. Okay, so he comes out the okay. The roadblock model features a state of the art Bro. Utilize your standard attacks to eliminate targets. 
Shield ready. What if I... Ah. Uh. Activate the taunt ability and watch that dino give you all its attention. Activate taunt now. Use the ballistic shield to defend against the raptors. One Tell shield, not come today, on. boys. Shield blast repels enemies in front of roadblocks. Shield blast? That's innovation. One shield blast complete. Rigs mean more abilities, fewer headaches. I like the this game. The rig is perfect for when you need a long-range laser. Providing new targets. Use a rig skill. Targets One shield come out. Oh! Dress for the job you want to survive. Match your gear to your mission. Now change to the witch doctor model. You got it, pal. I like the fact that you can switch between exosuits. The witch doctor model and you can choose when. It doesn't automatically. This suit features an attack that can paralyze Saurian targets. Want to try? Use paralysis to stop the targets. Witch Doctor's repair field projects a soothing beam to heal and repair allies. Activate repair field now. Don't go breaking down. I like this. Oh my god, I like this. Use the feed ability to repair your ally. The Dominator is the last word in dinosaur control. Equipping the Dominator allows you to command dinosaurs in combat. Hello? Equip your Dominator now. Activate your Dominator and try summoning a T-Rex. Oh my god, what? And you can be the T-Rex? Golly. Lot of mercy. Bro, the debris. What? He's just leaping. This is kind of fun. I'm not even going to lie. Nah, what? Witch Doctor is actually pretty fire. Please wait while your score is calculated. Looks like you've got the right stuff. You may now return to your interview location and await instructions. That was pretty incredible. Well done. Calculating aptitude test result. Result. Exemplary. Congratulations. You are now a member of the IBS family. As a new exo fighter, IBS will be assigning you to an extremely safe detachment. Patrol unit number 52585. Code name, the Hammerheads. We look forward to seeing you grow with Ivius. You don't look too happy being with the Hammerheads. But nah, okay. I, 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 I like this. The goal of the closed, set, the closed network test, I just started that hard. The goal of the closed network test is to improve the overall quality of the game by conducting a variety of tests to identify potential problems or issues. 
We are also conducting system checks and stress tests for large player populations. Please be aware that this is a development version of the game made for playtesting. Freezes, crashes, and other bugs may occur during the gameplay. I, I saw some happening during the gameplay. Like I saw like lag a little bit. So I'm, I'm not really complaining about that. Um, but so far, pretty good. Like that, like the, the lag was expected at this point. We'd like to hear your feedback and we have prepared a survey for players to take. Participation in the survey is greatly appreciated. By participating in this closed network test, you agree to the terms of the game's privacy policy. Of course. Uh, sent the, the closed network test centers around Exoprimal's main game mode, Dino Survival. Dino Survival is a 5v5 game mode featuring a variety of missions offered by the next generation AI Leviathan. Achieve victory by being the first team to complete your assignments. Hmm. Don exosuits work with her teammates and withstand dinosaur outbreaks in this action packed experience. The exosuits in Exoprimal fall into one of three roles. Assault, tank, support, assault, obliterate foes with a plethora of attacks, tank, draw enemy attacks to protect your team, support, heal, buff uh, allies and debuff enemies. Nice. Exo suits can be changed at any time. Nice. Suits can be, suits can even be changed during battle, making it easy for players to experiment and adapt on the fly. That's what I like. I wish Anthem did that, but they didn't. It was just, you gotta, you gotta choose one. Man, the fact that we can all oh man, so so people can if they want to, they can all be one specific exosuit and just go ham. They could all be tanks and just go. Ham. Oh man, that that that's accessibility right there. You can also head to the training area to test out each exosuit for yourself. Lost in the war game? Look to the help navigation for the answer. Activation help na uh, navigation during Dino Survival by holding the right on the D-pad. Uh, help navigation offers tips about the mission or what you should do next. Now then, we hope you enjoy the closed network test. I don't think I, don't think I have much time, but war game. So far, man, I might actually get this. I feel sold. try to do some matchmaking real quick but i'm not gonna lie i hope it's not just like an online only thing i need to look more into that and see if it is if it is i may think twice on it but i mean anthem was on no anthem had offline like for the story mode and stuff I honestly don't know if I'm going to be getting a match at all because I think the match, I think the closed beta test ends at 11. Yeah. See, if I didn't work today, I would have done this by now. Did you change your name again? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, hold up, hold up. We got a match. We got a match. Okay. So first match. We're going to see how this rolls. Cat, what you doing? So far, though, for Exo Primal, I'm really liking this. I'm really liking the, the fact that you can change exosuits on the fly into any of them and anybody can change on the fly that 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 like the the, the possibilities of how to go through the assignments are endless. What's this? Uh, this is called Exoprimal. I got I signed up for the closed network test and I got chosen for it. So trying to see how this plays out. So we go. Right now I'm about to be in a 5v5 team. 
I like how we get to shoot at each other. <laughs> like, <laughs> obviously it won't hit, but yeah. I'm about to say we need some tanks. Let us begin. I will transfer you to the combat zone. All right, here we go. For interdimensional travel. Interdimensional transfer complete. The war game will begin shortly. Have a super day. You will now engage in a dinosaur combat test. Exo fighters, follow the watcher. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Please wait. Summon your riders. All right, so our witch doctor's right there. We got two tanks. Hello. There we go. Summon Raptors. Is there like a map? There we go. How you doing though? Initiating dinosaur cult. Preparing combat area. Please wait. Summoning gas neosaurs. Gas neosaurs? Yo, okay, so these things have light bars. Okay, so that's dodge. Sniper Neosaurs. This is kind of fire. I'm not even gonna lie. All right, so the tank is uh, okay. The tank is definitely bringing them towards him. You are completing objectives slower than the enemy team. Failed to communicate with the server, returning to the main menu. I think I know why. I think I know why, because uh, the closed beta test is probably over. Yeah, you can't play outside of the service period, returning to the title screen. I figured. Ah, oh, man, but that was fun, though. Damn, man, if I didn't have to work earlier today, I, I would have had more time to play, but... So far, so good. Um, I didn't run into any. I didn't run into any issues um, playing the game, except for like slight lag. But that was expected, considering this is a closed uh, network test. Um, I'm pretty sure. Excuse me, I'm pretty sure they'll have like offline, um, uh, like campaigns and things like that. I don't think it would be something that's just online only. I'll have to look more into that. Um, if it is, then it is. But so far, um, first impressions of the game. Um, I do like the, um, I, I do like the fact that you can 
use all the exo primals that were given to you from the start and you can change it between them at any point in time during the battle doesn't matter when doesn't matter why you, you can on the go anybody can be whatever exosuit they want to use that 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 to me speaks like oh i have a lot of freedom you know i have a, it to to depending on the situation that we'd be in during a battle, I may have to immediately switch to this exosuit instead of being prepared, you know, beforehand and stuff like that, you know, so it, I, I do like that. That's that is a seller to me. Changing suits within within. Yes, uh, the customization on the character. Um, it's not bad. But I'm pretty sure they couldn't give out more because it's like a, it's just a beta right now. Um, but I am looking to see if they'll probably have more uh, of a variety, like better customization, like actually being able to customize our character's face if we want to. So far, I did like what I saw as far as like the ethnic side of things um, and the texture looks really nice on it. Um, like the fro looks like an actual fro instead of just like spiky stuff coming out. Um, I can definitely tell they put some time into this, um, you know, just being considerate. And, um, uh, you know, the facial features, all that. They, they, they didn't give too much out. So I'm definitely thinking that everything's gonna be out like the day the game comes out. It's, it's just something I'll have to look out for. Um, they the 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 tutorials straightforward it's not confusing it's it's not like something you have to spend like 30 30 minutes on like the tutorial was like maybe f if if i ran through it it'd probably be like five minutes um they didn't give me tutorials on all the exosuits just the ones that they can give out just for like this demo then which was which, which was plenty um and it's 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 definitely plenty like the three that i saw in the introduction for the exosuits that i'll be using it's probably like it's, it's probably like three i know for sure that orange one i'm definitely using and that one in the middle with the yep yep i forgot what it was called i think it was zephyr yeah zephyr nimbus and uh, the orange one i already forgot the names but i know which ones i'll probably be using the most that's just like how that's just like my personality right there. I love it. Um, they spoke to me, I should say. Um, it's like it's like Dino Crisis mixed with um, Anthem, kind of. But I mean, like I said, I like how it is so far as far as gameplay. I didn't get through a whole game, but from what I played, like everybody was playing smooth. Um, I didn't run into any network issues. The uh, 5v5 multiplayer seems pretty straightforward. It's more like a race than like a fight, like fight against each other type of thing. It's like a team deathmatch. It's not that. It's definitely just like a race. Who can complete the assignments first? Like which team can complete the assignments first? I like that. I've never done that before. Well, technically, I guess you could say I can, but not like this. Um, like fighting against each other. No, not necessarily. It's more like two teams in a race. That's basically it. Two teams in a race. Um, I've, I don't think I've really done anything like that before, but that this is something different. Um, the uh, the interface, the user interface is definitely uh, easy to navigate through. Um, I just the only thing I just I want to say about it is um, if you're going to have me configure settings in the beginning, I want to configure all the settings in the beginning, not just some like the brightness and stuff like that. I want to configure all my my settings in the beginning, like when it defaulted to full screen and it changed like my whole resolution of uh, the display on my stream. I had to pretty much wait and get to the point where I can actually press pause and go through the settings um, and then change it there. But I, I would rather get things done out the way first so that I can play comfortably without, you know, have to, having to worry about it later. Um, 
What else? Mm, not too much. I mean, considering I didn't really get to spend too much time on it. Um, can't really say too much, but I do like what I have played so far and seen so far. It's it's something I would definitely play again uh, in the next beta. So the next one isn't until July 25th, which is on a Monday from... Well, for me, it's probably going to be the 24th. Ah, really? Shit. Well, no, that still works because it's a six hour session. So the next sec the next session for me would probably be July 25th, no, July 24th. But it's a longer session, so I'll probably be playing that around the same time again, but I'll actually still be able to play longer. Because I ain't gonna hold you, I didn't get enough time at all. I came home from work I, I, like around 10 something, didn't start the stream until like maybe 10 minutes after and then actually started playing Exo Primal like a little after 10.30 and it closed at 11. So I just need more time to actually play and give like a full, like a better detailed um, review and like, on, and like my first impressions on it. But so far from what I've played and what I've seen, I like it. Capcom, I like this. I definitely like this. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, I'll definitely take that survey um, after, you know, well, can I take the survey now? Okay, it's going under maintenance. Okay, so I can't do anything. May have to take the survey. I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna take the survey, but. Oh well. So I'll try and take their survey somehow, um, let them know how it is and, you know, so far from what I've played and look, look forward to the uh, next session, which is July 25th. All right. So what am I going to play now? Um, I don't know.